Dead Money. The notorious DLC from Fallout New Vegas is the source of pain and suffering for many players. The sounds of beeping collars and cries of the ghost people that roam the villas haunt their dreams. The game presents challenges not only from the new enemies encountered in the DLC, but also the treacherous environment of the Sierra Madre, where resources are scarce and everything is out to get you. Which is why I was surprised that, as a new gamer, this ended up being my favorite DLC of the entire game. I'm Mazomix, and I hope you'll join me as we dive into a story of suspense, tragedy, and horror. Meet our complex and memorable cast of characters, and be absorbed by an environment of atmospheric visuals and a haunting but wonderful soundtrack. It's a dark tale and a gritty experience that I think fits perfectly into the Fallout universe, and I'm happy to share my love for this DLC with you as we begin our first playthrough of Dead Money. Welcome in! Welcome in! Holy shit! I'm so excited today. I have been anticipating the stream since I woke up. Since I fell asleep last night, I have been so excited. Today we're starting Dead Money. I forget what... I kind of like was just walking around over the weekend in New Vegas. And so I picked up a bunch of other quests just by like going around and talking to people who I haven't really talked to in a minute. Oh, here, track down the source of the Sierra Madre invitation. There, there we go. That's what we got to start with. Yes, Blue HUD supremacy, yes. I know, every time I start a, a new Fallout game, I have to change the RGB to, I don't know what this is, Windows Teal? I don't know. Um, but I have to. Quantum, I hope you're having fun. I haven't ever attempted this DLC. Well, it looks like absolutely terrifying because I Googled, I was looking for a gift to post about dead money. Um, it looks creepy as hell. It looks really kind of scary. So I hope that I'm brave enough to do this. Okay, we're entering, we're entering the DLC. Gone to Sierra Madre. Oh wait, you know what I should do is I should listen to the radio because we listened to it a long time ago. If so, the Sierra Madre Casino in Ooh, all its glory is inviting you to begin again. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Wow. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites know, that will shelter you dances. and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries Ooh, I just have weighed talk you like down, her. if you need an escape oh, no. from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. This October? We'll be waiting. Has your... Nice. Ooh, her voice is so cool. That's a voice that I wish I could do. Let's see, what did she say like? Sierra Madre Antra. Welcome to the Sierra Madre Resort and Casino. Are you looking to start over? I don't even know how she sounded. That's like not like her at all. I just did her dirty, okay. Let's, let's actually just enter. Dead money takes you, oh, should I try and read it in her voice? To an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that endures, erodes, excuse me, <laughs> over time. Companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Dead Money is recommended for experienced couriers, level 20 plus. If up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre grand opening awaits and has been for 200 years. Stay in the Mojave Wasteland, or seek out the radio signal in the bunker. Okay, let's seek out the radio signal. <laughs> that was my go at that. 
Let's see. Sierra Madre, is this our our bell? Mm. Should I walk over here first? Locked terminals requires key. Blue, her voice sounds ASMR-ish. Yes, it does. It sounds like, well, actually, it sounds like a big trap. Like, when I was listening to her voice, I think the first time, I think I probably said to you guys, like, she definitely sounds like, uh, what's that old, um, oh, did we already remove everything? I think we did. Nice. Um, it sounds like White Lotus. Like that island that ancient Greek mythology people go to to die and eat food that makes them stay there forever. forever. Like that's the vibe that I got from her voice the first time that we listened to it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this better not be useless. Um, I might not take shit. Oh, but I can't help it. Dean's electronics? Does that increase our science, potentially? Brotherhood footlocker? Oh, requires key. What's this? Vending machine? This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear in the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and list of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look like part of the original design. Okay. Okay, so it's just like a new crafting. Uh, terminal locked. Please contact the administrator. Uh... Can we potentially find this keyboard? Sensor module? Or, sorry, this key that we could use, potentially? Ooh, a laser rifle? Don't mind if I do. Can I use this? What is this? I always try these- Oh! Elijah's chemistry set! Okay, we can use it. In handy. Not for crafting, but needs Sierra Madre items. Oh, to trade. Oh, okay. I feel like I hallucinated. <laughs> then when I read the intro to that, because I could have sworn that it was like a crafting table. Okay, let's collect the residue sample. Oh, here! This is what I got. I got a jar of cloud residue. What the hell is that? I don't know. I don't think I know anything about that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Dean's Electronics. Permanent repair. Don't mind if I... Well, I didn't see a key in here, did you guys? I'm not convinced that we can open it at this time. Oh shit! I didn't get a chance to look! Oh no! They got me! Okay, you have lost rules, regular maintenance perk. Raul has returned to his shack. You have lost Eddie's- No, not Eddie! So if life's worries weigh you down, Eddie has returned to print. I can remember that. Or if you just need an At least I ate the book. <gasps> Cutscene. Hello. Dead money. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend. The curses. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead. Buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, Whoa. shining yeah. monument luring That's treasure cool. hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars Whoa, and entertainers wrong with her face? to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its door. A chance for anyone to begin again. Ooh, I like this art Except style that they picked. The Sierra Madre never opened. <gasps> what? The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, Ooh. in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it 
That's not the hard part. It's letting go. Ooh, intrigue, mystery, drama, glamour. Are you Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid, play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. What? How did I get here? What do you want? I kind of want more details on this collar. It's like that fit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to Do what I said. Who is this psycho? And the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me. I'll kill you and find someone else. What? There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. But I'm so helpful without being coerced. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh, th th this is Father Elijah? Is he like a Mr. House too? What is happening? Holy shit! If we had been traveling with Veronica, what would have happened? Nothing? The same thing? Wow, this is blowing my mind right now. What the hell? This guy, I mean, Veronica explained that he went off the deep end, but what? what is he doing? What are these choices? So I don't want to make this guy mad. What do you want? Then maybe you better tell me why I'm here or I'm not going to help you. What would happen if we said that? We'd, we'd probably just die. <laughs> We'd probably just die. Okay, what do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra oh, missing Mara mesh, hello. You are starting a DLC. Uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. So I need others to pull off this heist, who? Okay, we're assembling a team. Oh god. A team of just really low on our luck people. Oh no. Okay. Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk more. Can I introduce myself? And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself? A warning. Take all the your treasure colors for ourselves. Are One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm I am short sure on patience. See if he has any other backstory for me. Uh, what are the oh, what are the vending machines? Assembly stations. Schematics are stored within. Dispensers with unlock codes. They use the chips scattered around as batteries. Alloys of raw material embedded in the shell. They resemble the vending machines of Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once a little convenience, now, now they are a means of survival. Use the chips to power them. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Okay. Uh, more Ask. questions. Let's just annoy the shit out of this guy. Okay, what is this place? I'm familiar with the legend of the Sierra Madre. The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. We are standing as the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa lies in the shaft. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that is aged poorly. Oh, why is my vision blurring? My it vision is the cloud that surrounds the villa. It shouldn't prove lethal in the time you were here. Prolonged exposure would be hazardous, however. Fall asleep. And you will not wake up. Oh, what the hell? What is it? Okay. Will exposure kill me? The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one? Oh, is that what so we got as 
I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays on the touches. I found fighting it useless. It's not radiation? Uh, is there any place safe to rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched really has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Uh, what holograms are you talking ghosts. about? There's they ghosts? They the villa more than a casino. No. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. Oh. There are no power. consequences, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Well, security doesn't Most sound safe. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. No! They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, what? even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. What? They're designed what? once they feel the fuel, enough to avoid detection. <laughs> Each has an emitter, destroy or disable them, and they cease to be a threat. Oh, God. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to it. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Radios? Oh, God. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate <laughs> side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So. You'll have to make do. Okay, so they're... Okay, that sounds really scary, but it's maybe kind of like... I don't know. Mines? Radios and speakers set off my collar? I love that for us. Okay, so I have to deal with them or I explode? You've got to be kidding me. This place is filled with radio mines that can kill me. Um, let's just say the first yes. one. Yes! But not immediately. Oh, good. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When yeah, you see, do, it's like a mine. Step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky, hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. What? Okay, so how do I destroy them? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Shielded <laughs> speakers can't be destroyed at all. Oh. You need to avoid them or switch them off by a tremble. Okay. I'll leave the method up to you. Oh, let's ask him Someone who he is. Someone will follow the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than oh. a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the pit boy here and straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. I don't know if I should keep asking him things or if I should. How are you speaking to Confused? me? Confused? Don't be. I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Okay. Numbers, equations, circuits, all can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms included. Okay, so that's why he's here. There, we just answered my question. Why is he interested in treasure? But then why would normies be in, like, not normies, but like, non-brotherhood people, whatever. When they said the treasure of the Sierra Madre, I assumed that it was something like the Sunset Sarsaparilla quest or something. Let's ask about One the people. One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two, well, 
We'll have to see what the trap's got. How am I supposed to find Your piece of rock or trash will help you, I'm oh. sure. <laughs> Oh, it can latch onto the signal of the callers and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. <laughs> let go and leave huh? the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. Oh Left god, I don't know behind. what to do. Okay, police. So, the Cuesta Madre del Sol clinic. Its glory is residential and Salida del Sol. And oh, yes. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, do I have a flashlight? Yeah, you still have your pit boy. Okay, and we were already over here. Oh, there's a garbage can. Jesus Christ, look in the garbage cans. You can do this. I'm scared. I've been here. Oh, wait, guess we haven't <laughs> been to this side of the area yet. Um, okay, we gotta get the super mutant first. That's our first goal. Do we have goals here? Do we have goals? Okay, find dog at the police station in the villa. Uh, world map? Okay, okay. I'm not scared, you're scared. That lady is voiced by Laura Bailey, by the way. Let me just Google who Laura Bailey is really quick, because... Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot, Laura Bailey! <laughs> what?! This is Laura Bailey, are you kidding me?! Oh my god, she just made my night, people! Dweller in the darkness, I think someone else said that too. By the way... By the way... Oh my god! Wow, that's so crazy! Oh, I'm so impressed. Now I just want to listen to it. Okay, do I have ammo? No, I don't. Did I miss the ammo? Does anyone know? Is there ammo here? Is the stump full of ammo? Graham! Huh. Yes, my favorite. That's a way out. Ah, you I'm not breaking out. Don't, don't hurt me. Try to leave. I'll set off your call. Wait, what happens if I like walk up to the door? Nothing? I can I can walk up to the door without getting blown up. Nice. <laughs> ah, duct tape. I, I don't know if that's particularly useful though. Ah! Uh, I don't know if I should, like, go anywhere before I've found treasure mines assholes. Um, continue? Oh god, what the hell was that? Ha! <laughs> I'm scared. What is that? Open? Do I want to do that? Find me and we can talk? What the hell? I don't know if we can. I think that you might, um, be dead. Ruin chair? Oh, please don't have there be any bad people in here. Okay, I can do this. Sierra Madre trip, tri tri <laughs> chip. I'm not scared. Are the rooftops safer? Safer? <laughs> Is that not the way? Should I just follow the path? Ha! <laughs> scared. Well, yeah, yeah. I think we just um. I think we can do this. Just break my legs. Hmm. Okay, looks clear. Sierra Madre, Sierra, uh, souvenir aficionado. Nice. Uh, I mean, it seems safe. Maybe I can go over here and, huh? Did I hear something? No. I'm creeping everywhere. 
When am I gonna find ammo, man? <gasps> Deans, Deans? Secret stash. What did we get? Okay, here, we finally have ammo. Cosmic knife, fancy lace snacks, <gasps> and stim packs. Oh God, does this mean we're about to die? Does this mean we're about to find someone? Oh, another stim pack. Oh, a spear. Oh my God. Watch out for the villain oh. inhabitants. No. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. What? If you can, blow them up or disintegrate. I don't have explosives. Standing up. Do not perceive me. Oh, what the hell? How far does my weapon shoot? A hollow rifle? Chad, I don't have any fucking. I don't have any ammo. For this. Oh, I do. Okay. Am I good? Can I load? Uh, bloop. <laughs> Just slowly <laughs> loading it. What if I sneak over here first? My sneak is like pretty good. <gasps> oh no, is his arm in the way? If he like stops doing this, will he? What? Oh. Ghost harvester? What? His health just like filled back up for a second there. Oh my God, I'm... <gasps> uh, head to the shadows. Are there any more out there? No, okay, now stab him until his head comes off. What the hell? How do I stab him? Like, just like... Wait. Is his head off or no? What was that? Why did I get damaged? Did I hurt myself? <laughs> okay, his legs are off. H how long do I do this for? I'm scared. <laughs> Ghost harvester. Okay, what did I get from him? I got some throwing spears. I, uh, a knife spear? I don't know. I just Ooh, my condition is low. Let's see what my condition, my condition is. I guess I'll just go back to foraging. That was disturbing. What the hell? So I just have to... First I have to shoot them in the head. Wow, there's a lot of steps to killing things in this game. <gasps> yes! Ammo! Anything else we can take before we move on? I guess I should check out this terminal, potentially. What does it say? The case Oh, the, cas the casino is the old man's collar. Oh, that's kind of prophetic. Activate hologram? <gasps> Wait. Can I talk to it? Um... Oh, could this have been like a potential diversion or something? Is that what this is? Um, deactivate? I don't know what that was. Any other dudes over here? Good lord, they're fucking scary. Their eyes? Their... Wait, did I get a special suit of armor? Oh, dead money jumpsuit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, no. Huh. Am I hearing something or no? Find a dog in the simplest of beasts. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the dead. Oh, that's right. Elijah said that we can, like, listen to the radio and find... What is this? What the hell? 
should never have set that radio signal on repeat. Oh, who's this? Well, that one's got a head on their shoulders. Oh, 14. For now. So 8, 14, and 12. Okay. You two were spring the way tourists keep rolling in. So this in. is who we'll find eventually. Hope that tourist is hurrying. Haven't got all day. Anything else? Dog is sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's turn the radio off for now. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not enter. Um. I was unable to calibrate ah. the callers to block the signals. So. Ah. Oh man, what the hell? Where is it? Um, can I do like. Oh, it's just dog. Uh, we got a machine code for steady. Oh man, these. Wow, I have a lot of junk already. These radios are gonna be. take some getting used to. Um, this is a restricted dispenser code for use in the vending machines. Okay, fun. Okay, so that sounded Countless like Father Elijah, like, talking now. to... Where are the... Where are they? Where are the radios? I wonder if I can shut the radios off, like, from a terminal. Oh, entry denied. Please? Uh, disengage contraband room? Shit. Uh... Prohibited items. Sinclair installed a new security system for visitors coming in and out of the villa. He doesn't seem to care too much about what they do when they're inside, only that we confiscate any personal items that could be dangerous or foreign and make sure we know who enters and who leaves. Asked him again about watching the construction crews. He said that was a villa matter. Great, that means the, the prick runs the show. Oh, dang. As long as there were no more accidents among the crews, that's what he cared about. Barely tucked my flask under the desk before he showed up. He gets a disapproving look when he sees the hard stuff. What? So he's like maybe cool with like beer on the job, but no whiskey, no sir. Can I go back? Ah. I thought there was one more thing. No? Ah, I'm scared. Uh, Sinclair visits. Sinclair did the rounds today. Glad he left his ghostly entourage at the casino. Oh, what the hell? Those walking light shows makes me wonder why he's even got on... Got us on staff when they could blast us in a second. What? Otherwise, Sinclair runs a tight ship. Good to see these days and times. Uh, don't know how smart he is trying to make a resort to escape everything from the outside world, but rich guys can make it happen. Even ones that have been hit hard like Sinclair has. Okay, the holding cell. Nothing much to report. Pretty quiet tonight. Even from Cuesta del Sol. Imagine Morris up in the casino probably has more than enough with the guests coming in tonight. Poor son of a gun. Set up the radio so I can listen in on the gala event when it fires up and left one out for the prisoners. If Sinclair doesn't want us to be too strict with the guests tonight, I may just toss the key in the holding cage with anyone we pick up and let them unlock the door when they sleep it off. Reading glasses? Um, I just, I don't see anything. Oh yeah, because if that... Like, what do they look like? I'm just trying to, like, see one. Oh god, we're gonna blow up. Was that one? Like, right there? No, that's just a hot plate. God damn it. Is one over here? Ah, fuck it. We're never gonna find it. We're never. It's impossible. Hey, dog, can you come over here? Guy, I need your help. 
Okay, let's, uh... Got the weapons and the mines today. Along with the shotguns and the ammo, enough to defend the villa if trouble breaks out. Sinclair's taking the world situation seriously. Even all the way out here, maybe more so because we're out here? Hate to think if someone got their hands on half the stuff we have stored in here. Okay, we finally got a pistol. This is averagely locked. Oh shit, C4 explosives. Mm. I'm not too good with explosives. Did I get everything? Oh, Sierra Madre armor. I was definitely gonna overlook that. So where could this stupid radio thing be? Oh, is this it? Oh, ho, ho! Wow, it really does look like an old-timey radio. Wow, I hated that. No! What? There's still another one? Ah! So hungry. What the hell? Over here? No. Down here? Oh no, I don't want to be down here. Okay, there's got to be another one, like, back in this hall then, right? Oh, shit. A prisoner wouldn't have one, would they? Good this time. I ah. master. Just Man, those doors are strong. I could sleep in this bed. I think I'll find another place. Is it you? Do you have the radio? Hmm. Il Fantoma. Oh, binoculars. Maybe now I can see the radio. The co- what is this? Weapons repair kit. Anything? Oh, here. A little whiskey. Just a wee bit of whiskey. Okay. Where is this? What the hell? It must be in here and I missed it. No? I am so Confucius. Cutting board, knife. Police. Oh, ooh, a helmet. Ah, don't beep at me, no. Ah! I don't really know this- ah! Oh my gosh, there was an enemy out there. These things are stressful. Down here. So I do want to be down. No more parking tickets. Hell yeah. One good thing about this assignment, no more writing parking tickets. Sinclair's laid out the streets so narrow, cars can't even come through the villa. Resources being what they are, he may not want folks to waste ton uh, waste gas coming out here. Cuts down on traffic noise too. Chief says it's more than that. Says Sinclair wanted the villa to be reclusive. I feel like he just didn't want people to potentially be able to attack them. I don't know, it seems like he's kind of setting things up for it to be like a military state. As long as I don't have to worry about double parking snobs or Christless gas hogs clogging the villa, I could care less. Wonder how he expects folks to get here though. Seems extreme, even for privacy. Oh shit. There's danger around every corner. That's me. Son of a- Table. The disc. Oh. My voice. Can't take any chances, Are these? 
You may be some victim. Radios too? Do these count here. as radios? If so, what if I hit can't it? Let you let dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch dog. No. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that pip boy you're wearing. You're smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Okay. Very creepy. Don't want to leave anything behind. I wish there was a way to kind of like consolidate some of this stuff. Well, we'll get a companion too soon, probably. I promise, Master. Just keep him away. Is it this? No. This? It's this! Jesus Christ! They're these two? That's not fair. Whatever. Who said life is fair? Okay, so what do I need to do? Play the basement audio log on my Pip-Boy. Uh, how do I do that? Dog command? This is a restricted dispenser code for the vending Dog, back in the cage. Okay, what that worked. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. What? Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. What happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do it's anything about immersive. it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now... I want to know why. I'm not even really sure why. Okay, science. In super mutants, brain damage is usually the result of prolonged stealth boy usage. Do we want to go down that route with him? Um, you have multiple personality disorders. Some trauma caused this? Well, I think um, the first statement is more true, but okay, I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where's your collar? Um, I think we can say the science one. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From clever humans. Like you. <gasps> you Do you I'm see smart? these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Okay, so back to God. I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where's your collar? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. Oh. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and collar? burning down below. Like before. What? It was cold and heavy before going in the Who cage. Is it, now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. What? It, you're, you're telling me it's like, it senses that I'm here? How did it not blow up with all the radios in here? That's what I want to know. Maybe the stomach lining kept the radio waves from getting to it. 
If that collar inside you is active, I didn't switch it on. I don't think I did. Mm, how the hell did you or whoever eat all of those collars? Wait, he ate more than one? I gotta ask that. They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, really? warm, red, dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle oh. it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry, greedy, and now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. If that collar inside you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? What do I mean? Yet it led you here to me. Mm. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. I mean, maybe you shouldn't go around shoving old world tech in your stomach. Uh, I feel like that's kind of unnecessary and rude, but forget it. I had of other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. Uh, lockpick 35. He wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. Okay. If Dog God was in confused. control when the old man appeared, well... He would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. If you have the key in there, the old man can order Dog to open the cage. Huh? Big brain right there. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? This is so confusing. I really thought that God, like anticipated us coming or something because the little recording that he planted for us made it seem like he thought that it was not Father Elijah coming but somebody else and now he's like oh are you Father and I don't know it kind of seems like he's asking us if we're Father Elijah I don't know maybe I'm just being ignorant here let's keep let's continue I can play his voice yes I have an audio log from him on my Pip-Boy the old man's voice is in, is on my Pip-Boy, just like yours. You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage and you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... What? Goodbye, whoever you are, I'm going to let Dog out of the cage. Calm down. Follow me willingly, I won't do it. Okay. Well, things were going really well until he freaking <laughs> threatened us. That prayer with us pretty seriously. I mean, dog seems more pitiful. Like, dog... Uh, but dog's definitely working with the old man. With Father Elijah. And God is not. Um... Okay, let's just try and reason with him. I feel like that's kind of what we've done so far in this game and it's worked out for us. Calm down. I'm sure at a later date we can always get Dog out of there too. Uh, follow me. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? I don't know. No. I'll leave you breathing. I'm scared of that. Then keep walking until my collar goes cold. What? I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever mm. out of reach as you die. How would he be able to walk away? Wouldn't his collar go off? Because it doesn't if mine explodes, his explodes too. Ah, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, shoot. I can't convince you that I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man, so I'll prove it. I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. Cool. 
Whoever you are, I'm gonna let Dog out of his cage. Well, we're not picking that. Let's say the first one. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. Okay, well, <laughs> that's literally what proving it means. Okay, I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm gonna prove it by not doing it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, mm. easier to control. Dog is you easier may to regret control? This. this place. This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is but as you're vicious, also dog. more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. Okay, what do you mean by that? Even if Dog is more helpful, we can manage. Uh, I'm curious what he means. The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always uh, hungry. If we had a cannibal If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. So I'll just, uh, like... Okay, so he's saying the difference is that Dog would dismember them for us, and we have to dismember them ourselves? Ugh. I don't know why he's, like, trying to convince me to get Dog. It feels like he's trying to steer me in that direction, but I think I would rather travel with God. It seems like that was sort of what they were leading us to do. And then at the last minute, this is like a test of faith. And my faith is strong in the Lord, in God. Even if dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. Oh. No. <laughs> You don't belong here. Oh. Yet, you came this far, and I'm not interested Actually, in remaining right. here any longer. Here. I'll unlock the cage. All right, let's get out of here. Very well. Lead on. God has given you the In My Footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus to stealth, as well as the ability to step lightly around placed traps. Okay, let's check out this place. Sierra Madre trip. Oh, hell yeah, we got a shotgun. Ah, I love a little shotgun. Vending machine code. Oh, we have no got to find a vending machine. Here. Mm, I almost missed that. Do you see anything else, God? Well, I... I'm kind of scared, like, maybe he's going to spontaneously turn into dog one day. And then we'll be righteously screwed. We were already back here, right? <sighs> it's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traveler. I've been everywhere, man. Boo! Right behind you. Shit! Oh, what do I have? Oh, I have an atomic rifle. Okay, don't mind if I do. Kill this one before they call us. Ah! I didn't do it. Wait, let me get a good shot. Whoa, he's right there. Okay. Ghost trapper. <gasps> Ghost trapper is unconscious. Okay, let's get our knife. Ugh. Did I get him? I can't tell. There, okay, Jesus Christ, that took a long time. Ghost Trapper is unconscious? Where is he? Over here? Okay, we're in for the fight of our lives. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Are they slow? I can't tell if they're dead or not. Is this dead? His head popped off, so I would like to think so. It's your own fault you're here. 
Can you, like, stop guilt tripping me right now, my guy? Uh, I don't want to go over there. Let's head back. Oh, wait, let's get money. My greed. It's what led me to this place. I can't stop. I'm addicted to money. I know it doesn't supply happiness, but it supplies ammo. I value my life. I think. I think we can buy ammo now. I'm glad that he actually fights. I thought maybe he like wasn't gonna fight at all. Can I all give you like a better weapon? You and your stems. What? You can use my stim packs? Is that what you're saying? Cause like maybe we could all give him some better do, melee and your weapons. Stems. How about some here, I'll give you the grenades. That seems like a good idea. Giving companions stuff to blow you up? That reminds me of that Fallout 4 song. How does it go? It's like you hacking and slashing and hacking and slashing. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Oh God, I went too quickly. I'm just gonna die now. Wait, what other, I thought I had another gun here. Okay, I have a pistol. Oh, Kills Jesus Christ. Others. Something. <laughs> Ghost Trapper is unconscious. Here, let's dismember, quickly, before he calls more. I'm not even hitting him, Jesus Christ. Ah, that was disgusting, did you see that? So, so, okay, now we can make, we can purchase ammo, looks like. Oh God, can I sell you stuff? Can I sell a vending machine things? No. Those machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. You return. Why? Oh, gather, gather the three inside oh, and then I will have more for you. Don't Not go, before. Okay, never mind. Go. The Sierra Madre my bad. Wait. I, uh, I didn't understand not. the assignment. Okay, let's go. Also, that was such a waste of ammo, what I did earlier. Just spraying and spraying. I'm never gonna do that again. If I go in here, am right I gonna behind you. die? Oh, a roach! Is there anything else over here? Almost got away. Why are you stinky, stupid bug? <laughs> oh, I gave the bug stopper perk rank three. <laughs> There's a little money trail. I do kind of feel like a varmin out here just like trying to slowly mooch off this place. <gasps> Ooh, secrets. Oh, what the hell? Can I sell you things? Who are you? The flickering hologram stares at you expectantly. Uh, do you have anything I can buy? <gasps> he does! Oh, whoa. Oh, caps? Oh, no, I, I don't have any caps. And he doesn't have any caps either. Well, this is awkward. I wouldn't know. I would not know. Uh, Sierra Madre chips? Oh, no, there's no bottle caps. Ooh, I do like this jazzy tune, though. More money? <gasps> There's a bad guy. Oh wait, up there? Oh shit. No, nobody. Oh, 
What is this person saying? Oh, here. I'm where I have too much stuff. Can you carry some things? All of your weapons will do. Oops, I just whistled. <laughs> and your stair boots. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this DLC, you guys. Like, every now and then when I play... Pretty distracted by the fact that I'm like just streaming on Twitch. What is that? Glowing hand? Trying to. Oh, you're being poisoned? Ah. Can I do anything about that? I I don't know how to stop that. If I go out here, am I poisoned too? No. Okay. But yeah, I I like I'm almost forgetting that I'm streaming. scrounging this DLC is definitely playing to my gamer collect <laughs> collecting gamer <laughs> oh I thought that was a oh cloud residue I guess I'll carry that oh there he is oh god are they fast I don't know they're scary <laughs> I'll end Jesus Christ, you crippled me, dude! Ugh! Okay. I gotta use that. Don't call anybody, okay? Don't you dare. Don't call anybody! Ghost Harvester is unconscious. Hit. Hit. If I threw it, would it work better? Oh! It takes a lot of hits for them to explode like that. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, here it is. Okay, we're here. Oh, Sierra Madre chip. I'm. I can't see the difference between chips and little pieces of that man's body. Right behind you. Right behind me? Okay. Jeez, I thought you meant like there was something behind me. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators. Watch for traps. What? I don't want to get blown up. Detonators. Over here? <gasps> Is that one? No. Aw. They left us a little love package. Almost got away. How? Idiots. Hunkers. Close it up. Oh, Ghost Seeker? Do I have to, like, make you explode? You're not missing your head, I see. Okay, I'm not sure if this one's gonna- Oh, God, it did! Okay, Jesus. <laughs> a gas bomb? Oh, here's a detonator. Okay. Just gonna click save. Okay, so that guy must have gotten knocked out by the bomb. Good thing I dismembered him. Yep, oh, excuse me. There we go. Dean Domino. So yeah, there was like a handprint that we saw earlier. The glowing handprint. And um it kind of seems like that is maybe a sign from other... What is this? Oh. You know, from other people who visited the Sierra Madre. Like a little gift package should be up there or something. But I don't know what to do about that gas. Oh, okay, nothing in there. Um. Okay, disarm the pressure plate. Duct tape. Okay, there's some crazy shit happening here. Disarm. Disarm. 
What else do we have? Any like mines or anything that I'm missing? I would really hate to like be getting blown up right now. Anything crazy over here? Ooh, ammo box! <gasps> you thought you could hide from me? <laughs> and now I'm stuck. Watch me get stuck behind you. Okay. Anything out to kill us right now? Oh, if only I had Benny's outfit on. My barter isn't that good right now. I'm thinking about that holographic vendor. Hologram. Hologram. <laughs> a holographic vendor. Like, this a vendor that's all rainbow and... Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, God! What are you doing? Don't go up there alone! Oh my God, he fucking killed me! Who... Why did I give him a... <laughs> Shit! Why did I give a follower? Oh, why did I give a follower stuff that can blow me up? I have no one to blame but myself. <gasps> oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear. Oh, Jesus Christ, everything's scaring me. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh, no. Oh, no. And my vision is blurry. Where is it? Did it fall down here? Where did it go? Oh god. Dog, what did you do? God, what did you do? Oh shit, where did it go? Where did this ghost boy go? Oh, here! Oh, his head's gone. Ooh, I'm hitting pretty quick here. What happened to me? I can, like, hit extra fast. Um. Okay, am I being poisoned in there? Ugh, excuse me. God, jeez, get out of the way. Let's take a nap. What? I can't wait in this location? <laughs> oh, I just need to take a nap. I'm so tired and hurt. I'm really digging the jazz right now. <laughs> I just feel like it changed the whole vibe. Oh, now I hear a radio? Oh, up there. Dean. How do I get up there? That is a little confusing. Oh, man. Oh, no, it's not confusing. I can just walk up here. Dean? Do you have a bed? I'm dying for a nap. I'm literally dying. Can you help me? Like, I'm not even joking. Oops, move, chair. I have places to nap. Hey, let's talk to Dean. Let me put my knife away. Um, and let me quick save. Have a seat. Oh, have a seat? Okay, I guess I could like look around your room first. Can I nap? Damn it. <laughs> Ruined chair. Okay, don't mind if I do. The Sierra Madre. It's no Herman Miller, but whatever. She the one who invited you here. Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Okay. At least you're We finally still get a good look at the collar. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. What do you mean by that? Should we fail this check? The chair's an explosive, but is right. <laughs> that heart-shaped charge in the stuffing will cause just the right amount of bleeding. Ew! Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. Ew! So, let's <laughs> keep this sweet and polite and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. Okay, my man. Speech 25. I, I don't know. Is this sassy? I don't know. I'm just gonna say it. And that's what I've missed. A rapt audience. Mm. A rapt just because audience. I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. 
I want out of this contract. Yeah, me and you, buddy. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Um, okay. Well, I don't think we should fail the barter check. I'll co cooperate. What do you want? Good, good. Then yeah, we're like, in let's business. Just be cooperative. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. Yeah. I'm in. If that's all, let's head out. All right, all right. Oh. But you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the I fount. see. I was like, what's the point of telling them? You don't have to take the long way back. There's a short cut okay. across the way. See, if it's your own fault, you're here. Okay, I'm glad that we escaped with our butt cheeks. That guy really had us by the... Well, not the balls, but... Damn it! Why can't I sleep anywhere in this godforsaken... Can I really not just get a nap? Can I hop out of this window? Is that, like, too reckless? Let's not be reckless. I'm already dying. Can I make anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> Okay, we're all here, right? No? Shit! We have one more person to go get. Okay, let's dismiss. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Um, time for us to part You ways. want us to split up, all three of us? Yes, I'm sure. I'll make more progress on my own. You've lost his... Okay, good, good, good. Didn't think much of our chance. Mm. I think we should travel together. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Have other people shown up in search of the Sierra Madre? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long. And they don't stay alive long. Oh, that's if they survive grim. the cloud, the ghost people, the traps... Then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. So the visitors all killed each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Someone Then they start them. thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Damn, that's that weakest Although, link shit we were talking that's about. Odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Wait, they're not linked? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what happened to the people who came to the villa? Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick Do we close learn to more each about other, the and when they did, here? they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Any advice on getting through this? Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah. A few things. Oh, I should pay attention First to what off, I'm clicking keep on. When everyone I talk to him. together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go I don't quiet. Think my, I, my character has the ghost shouted. people find you, it's over. Let's see, these ghost people. They're the only ones alive around here? Alive's a tricky word. Tricky, the locals, tricky, tricky. The ghost people? Not sure it applies to them. 
They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Have you tried to deal with them? Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. <laughs> leaving food? In the like years raccoons. since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. Is that what they do? After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. Once, I fired a lucky shot, hit a gas tank one was holding, blew his arm off at the shoulder, and he didn't get back up after that. So if you're that good, don't aim for the head, aim for their bombs. What? And if you can wait until his buddies are close by, even better. They have bombs on them? I didn't notice that. Oh, where did they come from? Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Anything else I should know? Oh, about them. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find Is out someone's like trespassing, threat? it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. I would honestly love to see that. Like, not actually? I don't know. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't that be interesting to see? All of the ghosts just like swarming out. Okay, I had other questions. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about I it. I do. I want to know about you. Okay, I found one of your stashes. Why did you leave him around the villa? Should I tell him? Is he gonna be mad? Uh, what are the vending machines all over? Just little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like your son dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. Okay, I've never seen machines like those before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you, they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Damn. It's just like a vending machine. He's like, <laughs> yeah, grifters? Uh, I don't want to be sassy. What items can you get out of the machine? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of it. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. And where can I find these cards? All Around. over. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Tell me about the cloud. The cloud showed up after the bomb. I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Wow. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover if I get desperate. Tell me about the villa in the town. Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hang out. Really? Salida del Sol, we Puesta del there, Sol, are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. 
or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West Town and East Town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people, like hunting grounds. Okay, let's ask him about the stashes. Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous, so I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course, you show up putting your mitts. I think this on is one of the thing. things that I suppose Father this qualifies as an about. emergency, so I'm not complaining much. I still need to eat. At least I think I do. Mm. The villa provides, even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call Ooh. Sierra Madre Martini. A martini? Okay, how do you make it? Sounds interesting. Always in the mood for a drink. What's the recipe? Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose and A tin down can. It. There's electric hot food. plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue. Oh, okay. Although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew Oops. them. Not me. I stick to martinis. <laughs> Dean has taught you the Sierra Madre Martini perk, allowing you to mix cloud residue and junk food in a tin can at a campfire or the electronic hot plate for surpri a surprisingly strong, restorative, and disgusting drink. Okay, that's enough for now. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Don't you worry, Dean. Okay. So we have one more person to get. Okay, let's... We're not that far away from this next point. So that makes me want to go to it. Scrap electronics. Place is haunted. Got ghosts walking in it. Okay, what kind of weapon do you use, my friend? Just give you all of my Let's weapons. deal. Mm. Oh, Evan. Oh, okay. Can you do anything with throwing spears? Um, I'll get out my rifle. Okay, we're still doing okay on ammo. I think if I just continue to use bats, be precise, make like a surgeon. Whoa! Can I see the radio from here? They look like a lot of different things. Ugh, I hate this. The other Madre is not getting any younger. <sighs> Pissed. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, don't don't come for me. Oh wait, they're bombs? Throwing knife spear? Is that what I'm supposed to hit? <laughs> He got me. He's unconscious. It. All right, he's dead now, for sure. Oh, for sure. If anyone finds this, I'm sorry you are here. Oh, that's very polite. Ah! 
How dare you? <sighs> Boom. What's next? Oh god, 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 oh god. Let me quick save here. It says boom, but like where? What the hell? Can I just like run away? Okay, I can. <laughs> ah, health. Health. Clinic. Run, run. Watch for hologram security. Not as nice as the lady at the <gasps> fountain, trust me. Hologram security? Clinic security terminal? Check security hologram status? Do security postings? What is this? Appearance? Security holograms have been programmed with the case-specific Sierra Madre protocols. Not only do security holograms look like Sierra Madre personnel, they will respond to threats or unauthorized personnel just as conventional security guards would. Security protocol holograms do just as their name implies, provide security. They perform this function better than most conventional security guards. Okay. Security holograms use field of view sensor just to perceive their environment and to aid pathing. While later versions will feature upgrades that will allow for a 360 degree perception arc, memory cells in the current hologram emitters can only perceive their environment in a cone in front of them. They can, however, change facing as needed and scan their environment for unauthorized activity. It's best to purchase sec security hologram emitters in pairs to cover a full view of the environment, as trespassers could conceivably use hologram blind spots to gain access to unauthorized areas. Okay, often an intruder's natural response is to attack and se a security hologram either with fists or with a weapon. Fortunately for the hologram owner, all such assaults are useless. <laughs> oh, lucky us against security holograms. They can't be wounded, damaged, or harmed unless their emitter is destroyed. Attackers spending the time to look for emitters will usually be rendered unconscious by the hologram's discharge beams before they can disassemble them, so there's nothing to fear. Security protocols? As with service holograms, security holograms cannot leave emitter range. They will pursue a target to the emitter's perimeter. However, this usually allows a target to be subdued and should present no obstacle to casino security. Hologram emitters are sturdy, yet can still be damaged or broken if enough force is applied. In addition, while they are protected inside sturdy space age alloys, their circuits are vulnerable to being tampered with. If this occurs, refer to the repair manual that comes with the hologram installation guide. Please call customer support service if this occurs. Do not attempt to repair the emitter yourself. Warning, do not approach the emitter that may have been tampered with. If you must, please wear reflective maintenance gear or metal armor. Oh, in case of hologram malfunction. And make sure that you can move beyond a hologram's field of view in case problems arise. Oh, dang. Uh, check security hologram status. I think. I think I set them to. What are you doing here for? This place is. What is I think I'm like supposed to be in here though. Picking up a new meta signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attack hey, them as you see them. Those are my emergency supplies. <gasps> oh. I, I mean, I know we're in a bad spot here. Just, uh, leave me something, all right? Sorry, did you not want me to take those? Oh, shit, I feel bad. Oh, nice. Okay, we got a new vending machine code. Oh, God. What the hell is going on in here? Gas leak? Admitted three workers from Del Sol switching station. Exposed to some identified airborne toxin from the ventilation system. Caused severe lung and tissue damage. Inhalation isn't the problem. It's absorbed through the skin. 
researching its effects, the gas, whatever it is, may be building up in the vents beneath the town. Asked Foreman to look into the source before government inspection is due. Safety suits? <gasps> Safety suits! Where is my safety suit. Does this mean that we could like go in the gas and potentially not get injured? They're bulky, hard to talk and move in. It was difficult to unlock the clasps once in place. Had to get one of the staff to help me out of it. I told the construction crew, uh, keep the suits ready while working in the switching station and to be careful with them. We only have a limited number. I asked Sinclair to order more in the event of a leak in the villa and prepared cost estimates for another gas leak to support my case. Didn't need to. He agreed to the request immediately, then asked if he could see the workers and make sure they were all right. Oh, well, isn't that nice? There's a picture. A bunch of headless saps all waiting for the early gates. Whoever did this missed. Yeah, it seems like maybe they tried to stop themselves from being blown up. By these collars potentially. Oh god. Assassin suit? <gasps> what? Is this better than what I'm wearing? No. Oh, but it's plus 10 to sneak, so. Hell <laughs> yeah. I think maybe ours, I don't know, our sneak is pretty high. Let me look at my stats. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's 112, that's a little overkill, but whatever. What, you need surgery? Exhaustion? Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I could turn it off of this. Mr. Key's insomnia seems to have gotten worse, so we ended up ordering the new auto dock upgrades. Must have cost Sinclair a fortune. The new program for the auto docks, uh, emulator of the effects of exhaustion. We, what? Em, amylorate? I don't know. We have already spoken to the staff about side effects and dangers of prolonged use. Wanted to make sure they weren't using it to pull double shifts. Sinclair asked if these codes could be downloaded to the public dispensers. The codes aren't compatible, unfortunately. He said he looked into it. Guess he the contacts at Big Mountain will be getting a call soon. The speakers on the wall are making my nerves. So, oh god, are there going to be things down here? Okay, what's going on in here? Is she in here? What the heck? Oh, okay. Oh, I should have read that. Um, okay, I, I was just stunned. Uh, are you all right? Who are you? Looks like someone carved a road map across your face. Um, we'll say, uh, who are you? She looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She touches her throat, then traces the scar beneath her chin. Her eyes widen with alarm! Uh, look, I'm here to help. She looks shaken. As she glances at the auto dog, she recoils, and her mouth opens, but again, ah! She looks back at you, and her hands clench into fists. Her eyes narrow, and she takes a step back, studying you. Uh, this isn't what it looks like? She thinks that we did it? Uh, let's just say this isn't what it looks like. The woman opens her mouth again, winces and frowns, and drags a finger across her throat in slow motion. She looks more angry now. Frowning, she touches her throat again gently, then her hand brushes her collar, then the frown gets deeper. Her eyes narrow as she traces the edge of the collar until she finds the lock. She begins to press it with her fingers. Oh, don't do that. Uh, it's a bomb collar. Mess with it, it'll go off. Let's give her more information. She looks surprised and notices your collar and raises an eyebrow. Let's just say we're in this together. Look, we can have this not talk later. Let's go. Let's just say we're in this together. She frowns, narrows her eyes, and slowly shakes her head. If your collar goes off, mine goes off, it's better if we guard each other. 
Let's say that. I, I feel like I need to, like, tell her these things. Because the other things, we're not, like, telling her what's going on. Shakes her head again and draws a line in the air between the two of you. What? No! Don't do that. Look, together we can get out of this. That's not going to work for me. Uh, let's be hopeful about it. Shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Nope. Look, I'm trying to order you. I'm not trying to order you, but your life is tied to mine. What exactly is wrong? Don't you want out of here? I let you out of that auto dock. I can put you back in there just as fast. Okay, let's not say that. <sighs> I'm not trying to order you, but your life is tied to mine. She frowns, glasses at her collar, looks back at you. She makes a circle with her hands and then puts her hands over her something. She nods at you, then lowers her hand from her eyes, shakes her head. Ah, oh, I can't read fast enough. You're looking for something else. Fine, I can help. Uh, why don't you come with me? Whatever else you're here for, that's not my concern. Uh, let's say we can help. She studies you again, then her expression softens slightly. She shakes her head slowly and gives you a silent sigh. She nods at you, then raises an eyebrow and nods at the door. Okay, cool. Okay, we did it. All right, come with me. Oops, never mind. She's going to meet us at the fountain. Wow, well, she's not going to be... As far as companions go, I don't know. Oh! What? Glances at the speaker, then glances at her... At my collar. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it'll go off. Science, uh, you can interfere with, interfere with the speaker's detonation somehow? Wait, can you? She is about to nod, then stops, point at herself, and shakes her head. She points at her, your collar, then hers, then nods at the pip boy, then she makes a triangle motion. Eh? Does that work with any other collar? What? I don't know. I'm going to need you to write this down. She frowns slowly, shakes her head, then opens her mouth and makes a motion of turning a dial, then points to herself. It's just your frequency? She nods once again, then points at the two of you, then the pit boy. But only between us. <gasps> How romantic! She looks puzzled for a second, then, oh, glares at you and motions you to move on. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. I think I'm gonna just pick. Oh, I can pick more? Wait, continue? Oh, I hit back? Okay, done. All right, friend, before I send you to the next video in this series, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't yet, subscribe or check out some of my other socials. I'm on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and I'd love to see you there too. Until next time.